Premier and Minister of Finance Dr. D. Orlando Smith continues to hold as his default position during the question and answer session in the House of Assembly that he is unable to reveal details of the government's arrangement with BVI Airways. However, there was a slight change in his response to questions from opposition leader Andrew Foy about the airline in which the government has invested $7 million and which subsequently laid off its employees, claiming that it can't fly without more money. Dr. Smith now says the answers the opposition leader seeks can be obtained in a matter of weeks. BVI Airways are currently engaged with various entities in relation to investment in the project will therefore be prejudicial for further discussion at this time. Man, as we go. I follow up. Uh, Madam Speaker, before the contract was signed, it was prejudicial. When it was signed, it's pre prejudicial. Now it's not flying, it's prejudicial. Madam Speaker, could the Minister of Finance tell me when I could get the answers to these questions with BBI Airways? I can promise you that these answers will be any other question you need will be available very soon, in the next few weeks. But at the moment, when um, negotiations have been taking place, I have to be very careful of it and I've been advised to be careful of what I, how I respond to questions. According to the Premier, the grounded airline, which has missed several commercial takeoff dates, is currently engaged in talks with investors. The negotiations are with um, entities um, who are potential or who are possibly investors in the business and um, that's why um, that's what the negotiations are about okay. and that's why I, I mean, it's not right for me to have a discussion that might possibly have any impact on those negotiations i would have no more follow-up on a speaker but you, you I just to let the premier know you told me who but you didn't tell me what Dr. Smith says his administration's ongoing negotiations with BVI Airways, which has also blamed the government for its delays, is to see the airline airborne. The negotiations, Madam Speaker, are working towards um, the expectation of the service which we agreed to in the initial agreement. Because as previously stated, no consideration is being given at this time for any additional funding to be provided to BVI Airways. Asked if any measures were being put in place to recuperate the $7 million invested by the government in the airline, the Premier merely restated his earlier response that any discussion of the government's talks with BVI Airways in light of its ongoing negotiations with investors would be prejudicial.